り楽しいですね戦いというのは。All right, what is going on, guys? Football is back again. And、uh, yo, shout out to my boy Arten who like messaged me and he's like, by the way,、um, look at this. And he's like, he shows me Nell and I'm like, wait, hold up, Arena Nell? Bet. And then、uh, I, I go, I check my subscription box and I see that he can, my boy, he can actually post it. So let's just get right into it. Shout out to my boy, he can, for, for doing this showcase. And、uh, yeah, dude. All right. <laughs> so、um, let me actually raise the volume.、Uh, do it, is, is everything raised? Everything raised? This. Mute site. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I just want to make sure that everything's good. All right, so I haven't watched this yet. She is a Soul Reaper Killer, normal attack damage character. No, why, dude? Okay. She's an Arankar with a normal attack damage link of 20%. And then on top of that, she is going to have a Soul Reaper Killer. So another heart Soul Reaper Killer for NAD for. For some god awful reason. You'll see here, Charging Lance causes immense damage and inflicts Lacerate. And、uh, alright, yo, shout out to the boy Heekin as usual. We do have Lacerate on all of her attacks, as you see in her、uh, boom boom. And she has a Reed Soul Reaper Dodge. That's actually pretty good. Weakened Resistance 100%. She's gonna be a ranged character, so she's gonna replace,、uh, I don't wanna say replace Chad, but she's gonna be the ranged Chad, I suppose, the Spirit Society Chad. Sprinter plus two, Weakened Immunity. Increased normal attack damage, so a bruiser of 40%, berserker 30%, devastation 20%, increased heart attribute, normal, normal attack damage for Aronkars 20%, that's good. Flurry plus one, unfortunate. Debilitator plus two seconds, long stride, poise, and hit hidden enemies. Ooh, and she has hit hidden enemies. No guard break, but that's fine. Like, she does have her strong attacks, and you're not going to be using her strong attacks against regular、um, player enemies in Arena in particular, but, um, damn, but no. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of、uh, low key, kind of sad. So, we do have a bruiser of 60%. Multiply this by、uh, one point. You know what? Let, let, let's, let, let's do this right 1.6、um, plus 0.75. So, 2.35. That, that's, that's a very important number, by the way. So, base character times two for the flurry times 2.35. That's gonna be the damage from her bruiser with. The 75% nad links plus the 1.2 damage of 564. I'm not gonna lie, this is not crazily overly impressive. It's just good damage. So,、um, obviously, it's not gonna be like Flurry plus two, but it is good damage. I will say that. I think that、uh, a character like Sajin,、um, he has 100 times two times 1.7 times 1.2 times 1.1 times.、Uh... No, that's it. That's it. Okay. So, let's do base Nell times 1. Times 2 times 1.4 times 1.2. So you'll see here that she deals like 20% less. <laughs> is that 25% less damage than Sajin? <laughs> Why is Sajin so like bustedly stupid, bro? Yeah, that's 33. Yo, dude, Sajin deals 33% more damage than her. And that's without the guild quest skill, bruh. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs>、uh, we do get Flurry plus 2 on upon. Is that level 2? That's actually really good. Upon level 5, you actually get access to start power up item plus 2. Or is that plus. What level is this? I'm not sure what level this is. Start power up item plus 2. This is a very, very strong skill in Arena. Flurry plus 2 in Arena is also very good. No guard break though, so keep that in mind. Ah, okay, so it is level 5, you do get the power up plus 2. And at level 10, you get last ditch survival plus 100%. Um, damage reduction and normal attack、uh, for Arena trait. Her art is so good. I do like how she has the Jake Paul boxing gloves, you know? See what she says. The large three tattooed on Nell Yell's back is evidence that she was once the, the Tres Espada. She is willing to fight those who deems those she deems to be true warriors, but she values their lives as if they were her own. It's kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie. She looks good, I'm not gonna lie. I love her art. Standard range NAD.、Uh, let's actually, I, I want to see how the collision is on that NAD. Now, we don't have the full data mine information, so we can't, I can't really judge like, what her strong attacks do. Okay, that is the split three way. It's, it's, it's not a bad strong attack for a NAD character. It is kind of off.、Uh, that's the 625 by 625. And then that looks like a standard third strong. Third. Just want to make sure. Yeah, you see the low damage there, like the 221. That is the split three way for a strong attack. All right, so first and foremost, before this video, I will say this、uh, before we actually start. 
it looks like it's the split three ways ability. I thought it was going to be Machine Society Retsus, as in, like, it splits three ways, and without obviously without Frenzy, because she's a Nad character. However, it is actually Bambietta slash um, Halloween Soifon's first strong attack, where it is a range collision pushback attack that explodes. Um, usually, the, that strong attack on a Frenzy character is not necessarily bad. However, on a Nad character that doesn't have Frenzy, that strong attack does not have enough hits, and you'll see in this gameplay that it does not explode keep in mind in the video i definitely do say that it's a split three ways and that i hate it um does with, without frenzy i still hate it but uh just keep that in mind just wanted to clarify before we get into it. let's just go and yes i, I was I, I gave it way too much credit than what it is it is a bad first strong attack you'll see here that the damage on these enemies we are level 200 and these guys are level 100 with attribute disadvantage and she has killer and she dealt nothing to these enemies literally nothing though to be fair she had to she guard break she, she did guard break them which she kind of needed to do um now is hitting for 2500 just to give you an example of like why you see how her Nat is hitting for 230, but her first strong attack also hits for 230. Bad first strong attack. Second strong attack, 625 by 625 is gonna be Bankai Shuhei's second strong attack. This split three ways first strong attack is really bad. Like I genuinely look, look at that. Oh my god. Look, look at the damage from full health. He, this this dude is still this dude still has full health, bro. <laughs> it's so bad all right um th this is an easy skip bro i want to know who's it going to be in this banner because if Gr if Gr i'm not gonna lie if Tsukishima and grimjow are on it i'm probably gonna do probably mm -mm. you see i want to say i'm gonna do five multis but the reality is i'm not <laughs> i definitely don't want to do that you do have lacerate on it i mean she <sighs> i'm not gonna lie that first strong attack kills this character Yo, Caleb, what were you thinking, bro? You should have given this character, like, Frenzy plus two, but only on the first strong attack. Ah, <laughs> oh, yo, shout out to my boy Hekin for coming out with this gameplay so quickly, too. Full... S oh, wait... No, no, that, that's not a that, that's a pretty cool special you know what i just realized i'm pretty sure that how how many nels have we gotten in her horse form is this the first nell in her horse form since the the beyond resurrection dude yeah because that's an that's her horse form yeah, yeah, dude, that is in her horse form. Wow. Okay. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually kind of happy about that. We haven't gotten a horse form Nell in so long. When did um when did Beyond Resurrection horse form Nell come out, dude? Uh, click here. No yell. It was the first banner too. Her camp. Yeah, look at this. April 16, 2019. We have not gotten a horse form Nell in almost three years. Two years and nine months. That's nuts. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm with it. And keep in mind, this is a premium pool character. So like, it, uh, for a premium pool character, I guess this is kind of like what I would expect from a mid-month mid banner. But I'm, un it's unfortunate because this is an arena banner. Usually, arena banners are a lot higher quality. Sukishima, Okiora, even um, who, who else is a who else is an arena? I do Grimjaw is really cool. I actually like Grimjaw a lot. Biakia, I, his visuals look sexy. I'm not gonna lie for for a premium pool character. Um, he might not be OP and stuff like that, but I mean, for a premium pool character, he's pretty good. Uh, I, I think that Nell is going to be pretty good as well. I don't think that she has crazy high multipliers, which I think she kind of desperately needs. She didn't get Guard Break, which I think holds her back. And she also has Soul Reaper Killer, which is really, really weird. Because even though she is the first, like, Aronkar Soul Reaper Killer with Flurry in a long time, my issue with her really just is that... We have ranged Nad guard break units like Tokinata and Masaki, and you're better off just using those characters for almost everything in the game except for maybe Senkaimon. So unfortunately, I do believe that this character is going to have some rules in Senkaimon. So I hope that you have transcended your Masakis or Tokinatas if you were uh, fortunate enough to pull them. I'm not sure exactly how Caleb will work around the rules. But overall, I do think that this character is pretty cool. Um, The visuals do look good. Uh, I, I just don't like that first strong attack. That first strong attack kills this character for me, like literally completely. But I'm gonna leave it there. Just grind on, catch up, hit me up, stay blessed. Shout out to my boy Heekin. If you are not following my boy Heekin, make sure to do so. He is, uh, he's at, he's sitting at 4K. That's pretty freaking dope. Awesome. And uh, you'll see here that he doesn't really post um, all crazy, but he when he, when he does post, 
is because like K-Lab has not uploaded the gameplay um, fast enough. <laughs> so yeah, make sure to check out the boy XX Heekin. Link will be down below in the description as usual. I'm leaving it at that. Stay blessed, y'all. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.